So how about using the leg and the kick of the leg to introduce additional adornment to your boleo or to your change of direction or to your change while turning? Let's try! So now we're gonna add something that we kind of practice with our warm-up every week, right? So remember with the, with the warm-up we have this exercise where we go up to the other side of the knee and down, up to the other side and down, right? So we're doing this exercise, now we are in the opposite leg, so we have the left leg cross up front and we actually have the boleo higher, right? So we're not on the floor, we are a little bit higher. So we're gonna pass to the other side, but on the way we're gonna do a little tiny rouleau here, a little tiny circle here. Yes, so kick and as you kicking, you're gonna add the circle. So you wanna go from here to the back, right? But on the way, so as you going, you're not gonna go back, right? You as you going, you're gonna add a little loop to go back, yes? So from the front, loop and back. From the front, loop and back. From the front, loop and back, yes? Okay, now let's go back for real. For the start, let's go back with uh, the leg on the floor, right? So you don't have to worry too much about your balance. You go front, loop and back front, loop and back, front, loop and back, front, loop and back. Let's try on the other leg. So first just front and find that little loopy sensation. So you're coming from the front to the back, right? So you want to pass the leg from one side to the other and during that movement you're gonna add a little loop and then pass. So front, loop, pass. Front, loop and pass to the back. Front, loop and pass. Front, loop and pass. Front, loop and back. Front, loop and back. Front, loop and back, yes? So, here we are with the left leg preparing, right? So we finished right here, we added a little loop and we're gonna go back, but we actually gonna go back in the air, yes? So, up, loop and back. Front, back. Front, loop, 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 back. Front, front, back, front, loop, back. Let's try on the other leg and let this leg rest. So we go front and back, front, loop, back, front, back, front, loop, back, front, back. Front, loop, back. Front, back. Front, loop, back. Yes? So I'm counting front, back, front, loop, back because I want you to realize that the time is the same. We're not doing, we're not extending it. We're not taking more time. It's happening on the way. So it's the same amount of time. You're just adding a little tiny movement on the way of the normal movement, yes? Okay, so let's go back to the original leg. We have front, loop, back. Now from this loop we do 
the same reversal that we just practiced on the previous sequence. So remember what we said that we are kicking kind of back, but instead of being completely back, we're going to go slightly side, yes? Slightly side, and with that curly sensation, yes? Out curly, yes? Out circular, out circular, out circular, and when we have this circularity, we can use it to turn and point, right? So, in our combination, we're gonna have something like this. All is with the same leg, right? We go up, loop, back, and point. Yes? One more time. Same leg. Up, loop, back, and point. One more time. Up, and back, and point. One more time. Front, loop, back, and point, and come in. One more time. Same leg. Up, loop, back, and point, cross up front. One more. Same leg. Up, loop, back, and point, come in. One more on the same leg. Up, loop, back, and point and in. Okay, let's try on the other leg just so we have some rest. So in this case it's gonna be up, loop, back. But on this back we're gonna go slightly out already with that circular motion, yes? And on that circular motion we turn and point. So you might be thinking about two loops, yes? Two loops. We're going up, loop, back, but the back is not straight. The back has the bigger loop, so you can point, yes? Front, small loop, big loop, point, yes? Front, small loop, big loop, point. Again, same leg. Front, small, big, point, and in. One more time, front, small, big, point, in. One more, front, small, back, point, in. One more, front, small, big, point, in. Yes? Okay, so this, let's go back to the old leg, the first leg. And we continue with what's happening, right? So, we were here, we did the little loop, big loop, we pointed, we came in. And we came in, not just to bring the leg in, we came in with the torsion. Yes, with the torsion. Torsion. That torsion is going to give us a wind-up, so now we can circular kick with the leg again. So, wind up, circular kick. Wind up, circular kick. Wind up, circular kick. Wind up and turn. Yeah, so now you know the reason why we practice on both legs, right? So, let's do everything. I mean, not everything, just this moment, yes? So, we go front, small, Big point in and again. One more time. So up, small, big point in and again point. Yes? One more. Same leg. Kick, small, big point. In and point. One more. Front, small, big, point, in and point. Last one. Front, small, big, point, in and point. Okay, let's
let that leg rest, the other leg, so front, small, big, point, wind, and again use that leg again to kick backwards in that circular motion. So from that wind up here, circular movement. Wind up and circular. Wind up and point. Yes, one more time on the same leg. So, from small, big, in and point. Again, from small, big, in and point. One more, from small, big, in and point. Last one, front, small, big, in, and point. Okay, so let's do a few times with the original leg, the one that we need for choreography, and then we combine everything. So right now the situation is like this. We kick, small, big, point, in, and point for the final pose. Yes, one more time on this leg. Front, small, big, point, in, and point. One more time on this leg. Front, small, back, point, in, and point. Okay, so I think that's enough times for you to remember. Let's combine everything from the beginning, yes? Don't forget to subscribe!